What's up everyone? How's it going in this game? We have Crackity here. He's here. He's there. He's every freaking where. Crackity. Over here, spawning in the southeast of Cliffside. We have Core as our orange Jean Dark. I haven't really been casting much Jean Dark because there really hasn't been very much Jean Dark to cast. And now, today of all days, after a pretty good weekend, I like to say I had a pretty good weekend. Hopefully you guys did too. There's been a few, quite a few John Dark games. I also don't want to flood you guys with nothing but, ooh, we are going to be getting a tower rush from Crackity. Where, oh, where are your, where's your barracks, bro? Where's your barracks? Where's those dragon? Or those gilded, which call it at? Gilded spears. Come on now. So building the house. Baked. So this is gonna be solely with a villager then that Crackity is gonna be doing this with. Throw the villager in, has a wall up or getting a wall up as well to try to deny it. The inevitable push, I'm assuming, the counter push from the villagers. Yeah, they're going to have to go the long way around. But there's nothing really going on. There's still no damage. Core is 30 away. Yeah, 30 away from going into... Or 30 gold away from going into... Feudal. One villager does get low. Jean Dark needs to get focus fired because that'd be your best bet to force her off. Does have enough gold to go into feudal now. Just a little bit of a forward barracks. All right. I see what you're doing here, Crackity. School of Caval Cavalry coming down for core. Not enough gold whatsoever to start building units out of it, though. And won't have any until he swaps over into wood, which he already has. I'm assuming these three villagers are going to go over into wood as well once they're done with the School of Cavalry in order to start either getting gold from the southernmost gold vein or going to try to go into... Oh, they're building the gate right here too. Or go into horsemen and just try to counter. Uh, not well. Yeah, counter attack, I guess, because it's going to be a very forward. Or this is as forward as you can get of a barracks plus the outpost. So it is going to have a little bit of that extra added defense or offense, however you want to look at it in this situation. Defensive position for Crackity, offensive position for Core. School of Cavalry, three quarters of the way done. Back home for Crackity. Does it look like he's going to be aging up anytime soon? Still hasn't transferred over any villagers to gold. Really can't. He does need to get up quite a bit of wood in order to get a second house. Not too far off. 17 wood left until he's able to. And then he needs to start getting gold, though. Like, desperately bad. Well, he still needs the 50 wood for the mining camp as well. School of Cavalry does finish up archery range, archery range immediately getting dropped by core in order to defend against this as well. One gilded spear on the mining camp, the other one on the house, and they are core is going to be going down to the southernmost to the southernmost gold vein in order to start gathering from there. It looked like he was gonna drop down an outpost first and then the mining camp, but decides to go for the mining camp instead. I would have preferred if he went for the mining camp and we are gonna be seeing a 2TC play out of core. I'm not entirely sure if this is a reaction to what Crackity did going for the Dark Age rush or if this was Core's plan the entire time. Either way, 
I do like it. I do like seeing this 2TC play more of an eco focus. Crackity does have enough to go into Feudal, which he does. I'm gonna choose to go for the Mindwork Palace. Generally, what I see is Mindwork into Regnets. So we'll see if that's what he goes for. Wow, how did that get scouted? I have no idea how that got scouted. There's no reason for you to go all the way down there. Interesting. Very interesting. First Blood does go over to Core, picking off that one villager. Are you gonna be... Okay, no two. It looked like Crackity wanted to go into a second TC, then realize he doesn't have the resources. I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't want to get harassed. That's why he's pulling back. Where are you, Jean d'Arc? Moving over to the western side. Gonna kill off a boar. Remember that not only did Jean d'Arc's durability or survivability, both realistically, get nerfed at levels three and four, but her experience gain also got nerfed. She no longer gets any experience from killing wolves. So she only gets it for enemy structures, uh, units, things like that. She gets it from the boar as well. And then that's it. The Well, of course the passive experience too. Uh, ex passive experience gain as well. But those are her only three methods now. So getting rid of the experience gain from wolves, I didn't think it was gonna make that significant of a difference, but it really adds up. Adds a huge difference between the two. The villagers are killing off sheep and they were able to defend themselves as well. Good job, villagers, nice work. Second TC getting dropped way in the middle of nowhere all the way on the western side of the map right next to the trade post okay still way on the western side of the map where there are the deer able to secure the boar as well pretty easily for the most part he is gonna just have to drop that is amazing positioning right there too is gonna be able to get almost every single one of those deer very close to the tc aside from one but even then, that's that's perfectly fine. That one deer is still perfectly reasonably or at a perfect, perfectly reasonable distance away from the town center. Crackity, what are you doing? It looks like he's going to just try to go into Castle Age. 11 on food, 4 on wood, 7 on gold. Yeah, it looks like he's going to just try to age up, go into Castle and start grabbing most likely the relics of course we have to wait and see order of the dragon players are so difficult to kind of uh, predict and i have said this multiple times in a few casts before as well because i see such a random combination from them like a bits are easier to predict and they have eight different ways to age up <laughs> Compared to Order of the Dragon, two landmarks they could go Aachen or Mindwork into Regnitz or Burgrave. And even then, it's more difficult to predict what an Order of the Dragon player is gonna do compared to all of the possibilities that Aabids can. And one villager already goes down. There are two Gilded Man at Arms here that are just chopping away. Still no reaction from Core. What is going on here? Five villagers so far. Six, seven. Yes, finally the Royal Knight does come back. There's still some Gilded Spears here. Uh, they should have their Hardened upgrade. They do not right yet. No, they don't. Should be grabbing that. This is looking really good for our... Uh, I was going to say Aabit's player. I've been talking about them too much. Looking really good for our Order of the Dragon player. Nothing really going on for Core on the opposite side of the map. Eight villager kills for Crackity. Only the one for Core, and that happened 
in the very early stages of the game down here on the southern side of the map where that one villager was just gathering some wood that's all he wanted that's all the poor little villager wanted was some wood but no crackety or excuse me core had to just ruin his dreams of building a house blacksmith coming down three plus one melee upgrade will come through as soon as that finishes up as is their sieve bonus nice positioning crackety has put himself in a really good position cancels out the gold on the south side has the northern gold locked up uh locked down as well i wasn't 100 percent sure if this was gonna work but it has especially since his feudal age upgrade was so heavily delayed i wasn't expecting it i really really wasn't i thought core would definitely be able to move out on the map and start getting some harassing start getting start delaying core any which way that he could or not core crackety both of them starting with z's is messing up my brain but no crackety is putting himself in a really solid position core is on his back foot right now especially after losing those eight villagers not entirely sure what core was doing that he didn't re uh, react uh quick enough gilded man-at-arms against the town center this isn't gonna go well for them the gilded man-at-arms do need to get pulled nice a decent amount of archers here for core we'll be able to pick uh pick off the spears i don't believe we've seen the hardened upgrade yet either no we do not jean d'arc is here she is going to be soaking up a decent amount of experience from these units is she going to be able to get a decent yeah she does she's going to get focused down though and down she goes nice little pick from our gilded men at arms and they also slaughter a sheep for no reason that was very rude guys i do like what crackety is doing here the buyback for jean d'arc does happen i don't believe that was actually a good play i really don't but at the same time if he didn't do that she'd be missing out on so much of the passive experience the fight does break out again full surround on jean d'arc she is gonna go down again twice in under a minute nice control from crackety really terrible control from core that was that was terrible that was absolutely terrible control i'm just gonna call that out i'm sorry like i know my job is to be unbiased here but that was atrocious control from core losing her twice in under a minute that wasn't good at all these archers are just tickling the the gilded man at arms at this point they should have golden cross they do i would love to see some oh dang what's dragon's breath no uh heavy torches there you go i don't know why i called it dragon's breath it should have been called that instead some heavy torches gilded spears gg does get called game goes over to our teal order of the dragon player crackety here thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed I'll see you next time.